This is Morgan Windsor, and this is Sunday, uh, May the um, 18th, 2014. And I want to continue this one tape, and I think that's the only one I'm going to do today. I just tried to put all this on it, and I'm going to try to make it short here. I was really getting to something else in the tape that happened just along the way. <laughs> uh, I was kidnapped. Uh, in 1941 from Buckingham Palace and brought to Moulton, Alabama, given the name of the twin, Peggy and Dipsy Childers. The twins, Peggy and Carl, were both dead. This was a pigsty hellhole where they put me out. Um, and the uh, twins, I found out later, were both killed by their mother, Lina. And um, I was dropped off there. And all I can say is uh, I want to give this so you know where I'm coming from. Is this is my father, the real King Edward VIII? This is the imposter that married Wallace Simpson. And he helped take down my father. This is Georgia O'Keefe, and my mother and the wife, legal heir, the queen mom, married to my father was Claudia Ruth O'Keefe. So my aunt is Georgia O'Keefe. The artist. Uh, this is just a touch of the iceberg here. This is where Hustler Magazine, I wrote a book about mind control and what you can do with it. Back in 77, I was doing it when he was shot. Um, and that they, they, they can modify behavior without you knowing it. This is um, teach you the Morse code. You don't even know you're getting it. And then if you, someone tried to tell it, they've got it so patterned that they can say you're nuts and uh, lock you up. And this is what's going on with homes. Laura Colorado being treated for mental illness when it has nothing to do with it. They're torturing the man. Uh, it's a diagnosis that doesn't exist. He's, it's mind control. It's a murder weapon. Nothing to do with mental illness. This is Gabby Gifford. And uh, her husband is a twin, Mark Kelly and Scott Kelly, uh, NASA astronauts. That was the Tucson, Arizona shootings. This is my sons, Mark and Scott, years ago. I don't even know where they are. I hope they're alive and well, and they're heir to the British Crown. Now, I'm going to walk back over here to mall shootings. Uh, but these that I talk about have been done in patterns. And like in uh, Kenya, and the only persons that went in there, Kenya was a British colony. And you see the United States has to make colonies sound bad, so you empathize with them and they look like the good guys. So anyway, the shootings, um, mall shootings, Westgate, the Jews went in looking like the good guys when this was programmed. It was pre done, uh, planned, orchestrated, and the United States went in. So where were the Brits in all this? Uh, the United States installed their own monarch, George VI, illegal, my uncle. Roosevelt sent Kennedy over there, JFK's father, as ambassador, and they took my father down, kidnapped me, the New World Order, the Rockefellers, Rothschilds, uh, Kennedys, and now then Elizabeth. And this is on video and tapes and everything. Elizabeth is part of the global New World Order and George. In other words, her father sold out his country and uh, me, Victoria the Second. I'm the legal heir, and yes, there are papers and everything that were drawn up. I'm the legal heir, and they uh, signed the illegal treaties allowing in the United States, I guess I said that, to put their military bases all over Britain, anything that belonged to Great Britain, and um, I made them a hostage just like they have me. Now then, this is what I wanted to get to, and I've given background, and it gets too long because um, I can't walk. <laughs> I'm pretty much done in. Uh, because um, Wait a minute. Uh, okay, let me just go to this. I, I 
was remembering back because no law enforcement will touch it. If it's all, I've got letters here too where I've gone, it's not funny, I'm laughing to get through it. It's so preposterous, all of it. And that's exactly what Agent Noe, and when I was in Grottoes, Virginia, he came in, he's a retired um, FBI agent, and he retired to Grottoes. How's that? And uh, he came into the store where I was pumping gas and cashiering. I couldn't get jobs anymore. And by the way, Larry Flint, the car that Hustler Magazine had furnished me, was sitting uh, there at the store. And I was penniless except for the bit I was getting for pumping gas and, and living there. He came in and he told me, he came in on different occasions, and he said his wife, I never saw her. She sat in the car and never got out as many times as he came by there. And I was there uh, before July of 84 and on until 85 after Yen Zoring's murders happened. Uh, he's in Buckingham State Prison here in Dillwyn, Virginia, uh, and Elizabeth Hayson. And the murders were mind control. And that's what I've tried to tell you. I wrote about mind control murders. But I was up there when that happened, and those uh, were totally mind control. They're in prison, Elizabeth. Uh, for the killing of her parents, Derek and Nancy. And that's next door in Bedford, Virginia, and I'm in Roanoke now and have been since 86. Now I want to get back to uh, this. It's just a part of uh, the horrific hell that's been done to me on a daily basis. And um, there are laws that are broken. I mean, if somebody else did this, they'd be called the worst terrorist going, and it would be on every paper in the world. And this has been allowed to go on. I'm 75 years old. I'm not that far out of D.C., and believe me, I have made trips up there and be quite afraid they were going to uh, arrest me because they don't need a reason. <laughs> um, or the media, et cetera, that's co uh, controlled by them. Now then, I've used another tape, and I wanted to go to Annie Carter, Ms. Ezra Carter, uh, was a sister to Lana Dempsey, so she would have been an aunt to the twins if they gave me their name and all that. So uh, when I found out, and I had the Hustler car for a while, and I drove there and went there, and um, I had the uh, Hustler magazine where they endorsed me, and I ran in U.S. Congress. So anyway, I went out to their uh, farm, really secluded, in Carl, Carl, Kentucky. She had been a teacher at a military academy there, right next to, I even saw Secretariat, uh, the farm there in Lexington. But the point I wanted to make was, if I can get it on here, and I don't think I can, was that uh, the the police there were good, the sheriff there, whatever county uh that saying, and I'll make this short. Uh, <clears throat> Gwendolyn was her daughter, and I won't get into that. She was married to a minister in Lexington, and I was told that there were people in Lexington who wanted me dead because of who I am and my kidnapping. But Annie, I was standing there just to have a place to be. I was being run the side of the road, and I was afraid of her and Dempsey because they wanted me dead. I'm going to tell you what she said to me. She, because I had the car and the so in the Hustler magazine, she said uh, <clears throat> that her mother, which I thought was my grandmother, grandmother to the twins, had made, promised them to never tell about it, uh, the death of the twins, Lana killing them, and about me being there. So that's the first time they've ever admitted it, and that was after I'd already found out. She wouldn't have admitted it. They would have um, had me killed uh, otherwise if I hadn't had that much information. She made me go to a Tennessee Valley annual uh, picnic. <clears throat> There's more to that, the electric uh, thing. It's all over the South since 42. Uh, anyway. She t when we got there, it's under a uh, tent, and she made me sit by her. And um, I'll say this: uh, 
she got mad because I wouldn't stand to salute the American flag. Can you believe this? And she made a big issue out of it. And by the way, while we were sitting there, they were doing some tricks and stuff, and out of a big trunk came a Brit in the flag. And she liked to have, it made her mad. Can, this is the whole point. She said her mother that vowed them.